It's time for Tech Now on Technology Bites, the bathroom break for Jay Lee and the guys. I'm Michael McGuff. Today, part two of my interview on blogging with Houston's own Lawrence Simon, a.k.a. Mr. Crap. And I think that with blogging, you can find people with similar interests and views very easily and you can write about them and just because you write about them doesn't mean anyone's going to read but people will write anyway and the fact that it's 30 million probably about 90 percent of those are defunct hey i created a new blog hey why isn't anybody reading hey the hell with all of you i'm out of here you know three posts an hour so how would you suggest we get readers to the blogs and actually keep them there uh the first thing you should do do not pick up a movable type book or a blogger.com book or a how to blog or blog for Dummies book. The first thing you do is pick up Dale Carnegie's uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People. You read that book front to back. It doesn't matter if that book is 100 years old, 50 years old, or written today. It has the operating system of people like to be liked. And you use that, and people like it when you agree with them, people like it when you like them, people like it when you take an interest in them. Therefore, when you start writing, you also need to read. And read other people's sites, link out to people, say, hey, this person is doing this, this person is doing that. But you don't waste your time linking to the big people. You need to link and read and comment on, and comment on various people's sites. You comment on uh, other people's sites that are small and you work your way up. Once you've gotten influence with small crap, you work your way up a little more, a little more, a little more. You know, people like to be liked. People like to be mentioned. People like to be thought of. Uh, Dale Carnegie's book is still the operating system of the human mind and ego. And also, read up on sites like uh, Pro Blogger Tools. I've got them linked within mine under tech. Uh, and they just give out tips left and right. There's a whole bunch of them. Uh, none of them ever work. It's all just a crapshoot. Uh, I've been doing this for so long, and yeah, I only get about about 3,000 hits a day, and there are people who say, oh my God, you're saying only about 3,000? That's huge. Well, if you've been doing it this long, I mean, should be more, but eh, life goes on. If anyone is going to make a living off blogging, I would say you might be the person in Houston I would first think of. Do you think anyone will ever make a full-time living off this? Absolutely. As long as they're blogging about a subject that people are interested in and it you know, has commercial value. You wouldn't think that people would make money off of rocks, but somebody put them in a box and said, this is a pet rock and made a fortune. You just have to package it in a way where people are interested. People will make money blogging, but they're, they're already the people who would already make money doing anything else. You just have to find something that's commercially viable and then be willing to exploit it for money. I mean, I make some money off of this stuff through pajamas media. I used to have blog ads. I didn't really get too aggressive with it. Now with pajamas media, I've got ads already coming through an ad network, and they take care of all of that. I don't know of anyone that's insane enough that would want to have a dedicated ad run on my site, but uh, if there are, uh, thank you very much, and don't take your medication. But... Uh, I, I don't know. How would you make money blogging? I don't know. Ask me when I'm making money blogging. <laughs> Give us a sneak peek on what's next for the isfullofcrap.com empire. After this, probably a few warrants. I know that I'm going to look at all the various sites that I'm a part of. I've got a bunch of invitations to work with other collaborative sites, and I just don't have the time. Just moving projects around, looking for the next funny thing. i really love to get the 100-word stories published, somehow get the podcast built up a little more. doesn't really have much of an audience, but that's the stuff that I love the most. I'd love to dump the political talk and just focus on the fun stuff. The cats, the grilling, the garden. I would love to garden blog so badly that Kathy Huber of the Chronicle looks at my stuff, says, oh my God, that's awful, and has to start her own blog just to dispel all the stupidity that I post about uh, my gardening. I mean, I don't just have a brown thumb, I have a black thumb. I can kill plants quickly. I'm amazed that our jalapenos even grow any peppers. I mean, I can kill men. That's how bad I am. But all this, I mean, the cat cams, I love those. I love, you know, showing off the cats. I just like to dump the political talk and stick to stuff that's funny. Deadpool, getting back into interacting with the players on that, more challenges. I mean, I have caption contests over there, but I really want to get it a little more interactive, a little more play, make it a game. You know, it won't ever be a Milton Bradley Monopoly game, but, uh, oh, yeah, I've got uh, three of the four Beatles. Ha-ha, uh, Monopoly. I'm going to build a hotel on Ringo Starr. Sounds like that could be Sergeant Simon's Lonely Hearts Club blog. Uh... 
Is this thing on? Hey, Simon is not finished. You can get more by logging on to isfullofcrap.com. For Tech Now on Technology Bytes, I'm Michael McGuff of MikeMcGuff.com.